Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be setting up your brand new iPad Pro. Now, it doesn't matter if you got the 11 inch or the 12.9 inch, it's going to be the exact same instructions for both of them. This is the 11 inch. So, we're going to get started with this. Again, the color or how much storage this has has nothing to do with it as well. They all have the exact same setup. I'm going to quickly show you around your iPad before we get started. These are your cameras. On the top of here is your power button, volume keys on the other side. On the bottom of your iPad, this is where you would connect your cable in order to charge it up. Same goes with all iPads. And before I keep going, I do want to mention that you do have a camera. So there's a front camera as well for your iPad. But anyways, let's just get started by turning on. Now your iPad should have some battery in it already. So it should be enough to set it up. So we're going to go on and just hold this down until it turns on. So as soon as your iPad turns on, you're going to see the Apple logo again. You're just gonna see that Apple logo, you just have to wait for it. Most iPads do come charged up already. So we're just gonna swipe up. Right now, there is no more home button, so you do have to swipe up. That's with newer iPads. Older iPads used to have the home button, we would just press there. And right now, we're just gonna choose English or whichever language you would like. But in this case, we're gonna go on with English. Then we can go on and choose the region. So again, you can scroll down if you don't see where you're at. But most likely the first option will be the option for you. So right now I'm just going to select Canada and here's the quick start. So in this case, if you do have an account or you have another iPad or even an iPhone, you could transfer certain things here. However, if you're brand new to iPad and this is the video for you, because right now what I'm going to do is just set this up for new users. So if you're brand new, just going to set up manually because you basically have no choice. So we're going to set it up manually. We can go on and choose whichever Wi-Fi network we've got. In this case, I think the best connection will be this one here. I'm going to type in the password. Once I do that, it's just going to hook that up and then we can get started with the rest of this. Now you do need an app ID. So if you don't have one, you can make one right now. It tells me it can take a few minutes to activate your iPad which is fine. It's just doing its thing. And again, you do need an app ID. I will show you how to create one right now. However, you could have created one from before, by the way, I do have another video that shows you how to create app IDs in full length. Anyways, we're going to go into continue face ID. So your face ID is the same way that you would set up an iPhone face ID. So it would just scan your face. You go throughout the steps and then that's it. You just have to look up, down a little bit and then to the sides kind of in a circular motion and it's just gonna know your face from there. You can always set this up later on. So if this is a gift for somebody, you just want a quick setup, you could do that. You could even skip the Apple ID part of it because you can also set that up later on. In this case, I'm just gonna set that up later on. So we're gonna go on to set up later in settings and here it's gonna come up with a passcode. So you could put in a passcode or you can type in passcode options you're going to see this. You can also choose not to use a passcode. So in this case, we're going to do that. Don't use a passcode. So if you don't need it, nobody else is going to touch this and just you, you could just set it up without a passcode. So you can just go into it without that. And we're going to put in don't use passcode. However, if you want to keep this secure, for sure, put a passcode and for sure set up your face ID, which would could set up that all that up later on anyways. So again, if you're a new user, this would not apply to you. If you don't want to put any personal information on this iPad, again, this would not apply to you. You would just put in don't transfer apps and data. That's exactly what we're going to do. So if you don't have an app ID, you're going to see the second option where it's going to tell you forgot password or don't have an app ID. You can create one right now. Then it's going to take us to this window where we're going to see create free app ID or set up later in settings. I would suggest and highly suggest going to create an app ID if you don't have one from here. So I'm going to tap right there and just show you how that looks like. You just put in your first name, last name, birthday, and then later on, it's going to ask us for your email. And that would be it. Now, let me just go back. Now, the app ID is very important because if you want to download apps and do everything, then you basically need your app ID. Even if you want to download free apps and none of the paid ones, you still need an app ID. But again, let's say you're selling your iPad and you're setting up for the first time. You can set it up this way without an app ID right here, set up later in settings. So you don't transfer any personal information and you just have it ready. Same deal if you're giving this as a present maybe, and you just want to have it ready for them. 
you could just put set up later in settings because they can do that. So just to make things shorter, we're just gonna set up this later in settings. So we're gonna put don't use for now and we're gonna go on to the next thing. So we don't have to agree to this. Then you're just gonna see this, just put on continue, enable location services. You for sure want that. You can go on and set up Siri right now. Or again, we can just skip that over and set up later in settings. So this is one of those things that you shouldn't set up unless this is for you personal. So if I press on continue, I just have to set up Siri. To set up Siri, it's very easy. It's gonna say a few sentences on here on the screen. I just have to read them and then Siri will keep recognizing my voice and I just keep reading them until it's all set up. So that's the setup for Siri. It's very basic, very easy. So I'm just gonna give you an example. So I'm just gonna continue. And right here I can set up voice one, voice two, voice three, voice four. Obviously you would choose voice one. We're just going to choose for me, which would be the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna choose Hi, that. It's I'm gonna Siri. go voice one. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in settings. And right now I would have to read what it's telling me up here. And then it's gonna know that that's my voice. So I would say, hey Siri, into my iPad. But for now, I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna just set that up later on. So right now I'm just gonna put uh, share audio recordings or not. Most of you will not want to share that. I'm gonna put no. Screen time. Screen time is pretty important, especially if this is for your kids or something like that. You can set up exactly how much screen time they should get. But for most of you, you don't, if this is for personal use, you won't really care about setting up those restrictions for yourself unless you want to do that, or even care about how much screen time you're spending on your iPad. So I'm just gonna skip this and go into my settings. So right now it's gonna tell me iPad, I can share this. So I can share information from my iPad. So if it crashes or anything like that with Apple, I can just choose not to share. In this case, I'm just gonna go and share with Apple. Again, that's your personal choice. You guys can choose with each ever. This again, it's more information that you would like to share or not with Apple. I'm gonna put don't share. And right now this is just an example of what true tone is. So if you touch right here, you're gonna see a slight difference. In camera, it's gonna look a little bit different. But anyways, there's a slight difference in the actual screen. So this actually kind of explains it. You can just go to continue. And right here, we have two appearances. So we have light mode, which is this. So everything you see would be with a white background. And then dark mode would have this all in dark. In terms for this video, it's better for me to put everything in white but my personal preference is always dark mode. It's just easier on my eyes, generally speaking. We're gonna continue on. And right now we are basically done. Welcome to iPad, we can just get started. We are all done. So right now we are all done. All the apps that you get on your iPad right away are these right here, and that's it. You don't get anything else. Those are the default apps. If you would like to download any additional apps, you would have to do it from the App Store and there's a ton of them for free. A lot of people ask me, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those are free. Yes, they are. All the social media that's free on your other platforms will be free right here as well. It just doesn't come pre-installed. Something that you should take a look at as well would be your settings. Just go to your settings. You're gonna see there's an update there. Update your iPad. But as far as this setup video goes, you're all done. Congrats, you can start using your awesome iPad. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.